All right, there it is, the Harley Davidson bevel seat that I installed last weekend. We couldn't get out then and take it for a test ride. And uh, we've been dodging rain and sleet clouds today, but it looks like it's going to hold now, so we're off. Let's do it. Ready? Right, before I get into the individual aspects of, of the seat, uh, we did get out yesterday for a, a good three hour ride and I have to say that compared to my last seat, the Badlander, this seat performed so much better. So before I even get into uh, anything about this seat uh, in terms of its ride, I'm going to say that this is a really comfortable seat for the money. The first thing I noticed initially when I sat on this seat was it's very squared off, which is probably quite understandable for a brand new seat. Compared with the Bandlander, which is a rounded type seat, this one has very straight lines. So when you sit on it for the first time, you really notice those square lines, particularly the bevel part of the seat that butts right up against the bottom of your back. It wasn't a bad thing, it wasn't uncomfortable, uh, it was just noticeable and I'm sure um, after a few rides this seat is going to start to wear in and it's gonna, I'm going to start getting used to it and it's going to start getting used to my shape and my weight. This seat is also a lot broader than the Badlander, which I feel like is a good thing. Certainly at the front of the seat, uh, that's definitely broader, and I feel like it's giving uh, my thighs quite a bit more support. Whether that's a good thing or whether that's a bad thing remains to be seen. But it felt comfortable, especially yesterday on our longer ride. Another thing about this seat, around about where the button feature is the seat um, it has a bucket shape but it's it almost forms a bit of a trough so that the um, your tailbone isn't directly on the seat there's almost a bit of a gap the weight is on the outside of your butt so to me anyway I found that a lot more comfortable than the Badlander um, this seat is a lot more cushiony than the Badlander. With the Badlander I would always get a bit fatigued right on my tailbone because it wasn't as soft, it wasn't a soft seat particularly. But with this one, because it is soft and it has that trough, I found that my tailbone, especially after yesterday's three hour ride, was actually fine. I didn't have to readjust my position really much at all to stay comfortable. I did just want to reiterate that this seat is a lot more cushiony and comfortable than the Badlander and I really feel like uh, even though it's currently got square edges and you can sort of notice them that after a few rides, it is going to start to, to mould, to shape, and to kind of learn uh, my shape and my riding style. I feel like it's only going to get more comfortable. The bevel part of the seat, which is right up against uh, the bottom of my back, is really noticeable. Uh, again, it's got that square edge. It's definitely not uncomfortable. I, I really enjoyed it. I could. Uh, I felt secure, I could feel it there, I knew I wasn't going to slip back in the seat. 
um, and I think that too over time is just going to get more comfortable it's a bit like the difference between a brand new pair of shoes and a pair of shoes that you've worn for a couple of weeks those square edges round off you get used to the feeling of the shoe on your foot where it holds where it sits that sort of thing and I think that's what's going to happen with this bevel part of the seat uh, again which is is not uncomfortable it feels very secure another thing about this seat that uh, you'd, I'm sure you'd be interested to know um, is in terms of the pillion or the passenger section of the seat Mrs Kiwi Rider did have an opportunity yesterday to uh, to trial it out and um, I'll just uh, find out if she's going to be happy to uh, to share that with you Come back Mama Cedar, you got your ears on? Copy that Big Daddy You're going to be happy to tell these fine folks your impressions of this seat as a passenger seat? Absolutely Rock and roll, the floor is yours, madam. Thank you, sir. So, my impressions of this uh, passenger seat. First impression was it was reasonably good. It has a good width and uh, not too bad. A little bit of cushioning there. Um, I don't find being a passenger on these bikes super comfortable anyway uh, so perhaps somebody else might find it slightly more comfortable than I did um, but it was adequate it was adequate for around town it wasn't too bad I think I'd probably want to stop every you know 45 minutes an hour or something perhaps uh, but yeah it was it was reasonably comfortable it's not like it's a touring bike it's not super comfy but it's adequate in comparison to the Badlander seat, there were some differences. So uh, this seat was slightly wider, so in width, so that obviously makes it slightly more comfortable um, because there's more surface area there for you to, to find a comfortable spot. Um, and I feel like there is slightly more cushioning in this seat, which obviously does help with the comfort factor. Um, so in comparison, I would say that this seat is uh, slightly better than the Badlander uh, for a passenger. Awesome. Thanks for that, dollface. Kia ora. So definitely not a touring seat for a passenger, but uh, going to be relatively comfortable for short trips. That's the sense that I get. One thing I have seen is some people talking about the fact that they may have seen reviews uh, saying that uh, the button feature um, has come off one or some of the seats. Now, I've only seen one review saying that, and that was on the Harley Davidson website that, that a button or some buttons had come off. So the jury's still out on that one. But for the fact that we do have limited options here in New Zealand, the button thing doesn't bother me a whole lot. Um, I'm guessing, hang on a second, Whee! Sorry about that Mrs. Kiwi Rider. Uh, I'm guessing, oh, <laughs> I'm guessing that um, if you have, if you wear jeans, uh, with those the stiff pocket stitching and you move around a lot on the seat they may catch on the buttons I'm not certain uh, as I say the jury's out on that one it remains to be seen if that happened on this one I don't think I'd mind re-upholstering this seat if it continued to prove to be comfortable so yeah the whole button thing the, the loose button thing who knows if it happens to me, I'll update you in the future. So, I just want to reiterate in conclusion that after yesterday's three hour ride and after today's ride, this is a good, sound, comfortable seat for the money. I think it looks good too. I'm really pleased with it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please consider giving it a like, 
and if you found this video valuable please consider giving us a subscribe we do varied videos from reviews like this one to humorous uh, humorous vlogs to road trips we'd love to have you on board cheers